First delete the default cube, then add in a camera. Go to the camera view and then set the resolution of your scene to the resolution of your image. And then from the camera settings, enable background images and add your image. Now I will just open up the shader editor in the side so that I can easily change the materials that I use in my scene. Then add in the character that you are about to use. Oh, it's also important to set the focal length of your camera to the actual focal length of the camera that you used to take the picture. So in my case, it's 29.5 millimeters. And then we will be adding a floor plane that will be used as a shadow catcher to catch the shadows of our character. Just align your camera so that the floor plane actually matches with the floor of the image that you took. It need not be exact, just roughly match it with the floor. Now we will scale up the plane so that it matches our table. I'll quickly add a light to the scene so that we can better see our character in the render view. Now we will go into settings and under visibility we will enable shadow catcher. What this will do is that it will only catch the shadows of the character that we are using and it will not actually show up in the render. Also go into the render settings and under film enable transparent so that you can actually see the background that you are using. Now I will quickly pause my character and I will pass the video forward through it. Now I'll add a temporary material to the floor. Add some lights so you can see the character properly.
I will also add an HDRI so that I can get global illumination and reflections on our characters, clothes and other reflective parts. I'll do some little more adjustments to the, her face and eyes and hair and I'll pass the video forward through it. Now let's add some proper material to the floor. So I will try to replicate the material of the table that I had like a wooden texture. We will roughly make it look like the table and I will fast the video forward through it. So we will render out two images. The first one is going to be the actual character and the second one is going to be her reflections on the table. So for the actual render, we are going to use a basic white material for the table and we will enable shadow catcher for the table for the first render. For the second render, we will be using the glossy material that we created for the table and we will disable shadow catcher because we need the reflection data to be present in our render. 
and under the light settings we will enable glossy direct indirect and color so after our image is rendered we can go to the view layer and we can see that the glossy indirect is the render that we need we don't actually need the glossy direct and the glossy color we just need the glossy indirect so go ahead and save this and now we will go to some photo editing app. I prefer Photoshop. You can use any app that you want. So in Photoshop, what we need to do is uh, we need to get all three of our images, uh, the actual render of the character, the glossy image that we had and the background that we or rather the photo that we actually took. So with three of these images, keep the actual photo at the very bottom or character image at the very top and the glossy layer in, in between them. So for now, I will be disabling the glossy layer and just work with our actual character. I'll put in a layer in between the background and the character and paint in some shadows. So for some reason, while I was painting the shadows, the recording just stopped abruptly. So you can just paint in the shadows as you want. Whichever place you feel like the shadows should be there, you can just paint the shadows and yeah, that's it. That's all you need to do here. After painting the shadows, enable the glossy layer and set the blend mode to lighten or screen. Uh, you can set it to either lighten or screen. In this case, I prefer screen because it gives more bright looking colors. So I will go with screen for this one. Then you can maybe uh, convert it into a smart object and you can apply some effects like a Gaussian blur to make the uh, reflections look a bit blurish and then you can maybe rub off a bit of the paint so that it looks a bit more natural Now I will add some curves adjustment to make the image pop up a bit more. Now I will do some color correction. And yeah, that's it. Your image is ready. Under 15 minutes.